Good afternoon, students. Welcome back. So, the last session we had uh, learned how to prepare a Krebs air from a flambe trolley, and I hope you had enjoyed the session and you've been in a position to practice the same. This session is about another very popular flambe dish, the banana or rum. And as mentioned in the last class, here too the recipes differ quite a bit from one to other. So we shall be using a standard recipe that has been well documented. Some variations in recipes should not lead you to any confusions. Like last time, let us introduce the mise en The mise en for any flambe session requires a good clean trolley. Today we are going to need a banana. And there are going to be two aspects of it. How do we carve out this banana using simple restaurant equipments? Since this trolley and we are going to prepare this dish in front of the guest, minimal use of the hand while trying to do the entire dish. We need a little bit of butter or fat. Butter is ideal. We need a little bit of lemon juice again to add astringency to the dish. We need some sugar, caster sugar, a little bit of orange juice, Rum. Some recipes say you need light and dark rum. Majority say you need dark rum. So we will be using the dark rum. And for flavoring the juice and the dish, a little bit of triple sec. Some recipes mention gramania. However, we will be using triple sec to add that flavor to the dish today. So this session is expected to last about 15 minutes. And at the end of this session, a student should be able to carve and present the banana, use the banana so done into a, uh, into a gerridon dish, a flambe dish and prepare a good decent sauce under the uh, as per the recipe given and be in a position to enthrall guests by his skills on the flambe trolley in a training restaurant. Thank you. So now let's go forward and start preparing the dish as per the recipe given. Again, this is something that requires a lot of flair and a lot of talking skills as well. So there is nothing wrong in a student being able to be relaxed and be friendly because we are right there in front of the guest and the guest is sitting right across with us. So let's switch on the trolley then, the flambe trolley. Of course the requirement, a pan, a flambe pan. Let the pan heat up. As mentioned in the cl last class, we are trying to do impulse buying. So use of all five senses by the guest is important. Some sound for the ears, some smell of butter and the sauce coming. Then that flambe with that noise, a good little flambe which should rise at least one and a half feet, a feet or one and a half feet, nicely happening. Then of course the presentation should look nice to the guest as well. And that tactile feeling of something hot coming around so that the skin also feels something good happening around. So we attract all senses as they say. So as the pan is getting nice and warm, let's do the uh, carving of the banana. So while carving again, hold the fork, it should go pierce the banana, cut it from one side, cut it down from the other side and holding now the banana there, I give it one nice decent incision. There we go, the incision is given. Don't handle the banana too much because it then doesn't cook well. Now again, we need not be touching the banana at all. Hold the two sides there, the skin there on either side, open it up and the banana is out. Once the skin comes off, take it onto a half plate and put it there. There you go. So no touching the banana please. This is something that comes out of skill again. Hold the skin. No touching of the banana, open up the skin again. Now the skin is open, take it to the plate, invert it there. And your banana has been taken off without any touch 
have sufficient napkins with you. Now the pan is nice and warm. Add a little bit of butter. Butter again, smoking point is a little low. So ensure that it doesn't burn. There should be a nice sizzle though that the pan is getting warm, which it is now. It is nice crispy sizzle. Nothing is burning though. What do we need next? The orange juice. Pour out about 30 ml of orange juice there. Measure out everything. Please don't go by experiences. Nice, nice, nice. We can add on 5 ml of lemon juice. Again, measure. One spoon is about 5 ml. There it goes in. Some sugar that gives the sauce its consistency. So a little bit of sugar. Again, how much? 5 grams maybe. 5 to 10 grams. Spread it over so that it gives the color to the sauce as well. At this stage, the sauce is there. Getting ready. About 5 ml, 10 ml of gramonia or an orange liqueur. Keep it ready. Cap it up. And at this stage, the banana has to go in as it is required. I'm taking both the slices on and you should be in a position to not break the banana piece. So ensure that the banana goes in and as it sits there add the triple sec and let the sauce and let it turn over. Now there has to be a little bit of grilling of the banana in the sauce so let it sit there and let it turn over and nicely get grilled with the sauce. Now these are not typically those bananas which we find in the Caribbean which are which lend themselves to cooking better so ensure that they don't overcook here again ideally they should have been grilled however these bananas would not take grilling too much so like in a crepe suze the next section involves flambe so bring the sauce down a little bit and as it cooks take out the rum. again the recipe says about 25 ml of rum Any rum will do, dark rum and this sauce the consistency is going to be thicker than the one which we did for crepe suze and now increase the flame and allow the caramelization to happen, the caramelization gives the typical flavor and as it is becoming nice and warm, I can see that, you should see that the pan becomes reddish brown at the end and there the smoke starts coming on we are ready to do the flambe remember to take the flambe off and then there goes it nice little flambe again switch off the fire keep shaking because this requires doesn't require the flame anymore now this is more of a grilled color that's going to come in and some little sauce again now, fresh plate should be available, so should be your service equipment at hand. Pick up the banana, turn it over. Take the second one, second piece, take it over to the plate, turn it over now. Now this part, you have to be a little careful because turning it over, it does slip, it's a cooked banana now. Now pour over the sauce, nice and slow. And as the sauce settles, the banana also does it. Some hotels would add an ice cream on top. That's your decision whether you need to add an ice cream or just the sauce is going to be fine. And we are done for the day. Add some more castor sugar that gives taste to it. And I'm done. We can have a nice little scoop of vanilla ice cream to sit on there that gives it good conditional taste and uh, look 
and we are now ready to serve the dish to the guest. Thank you so much. It was great having a second session with you. In the next session, we shall try and look at some other dishes which could be flambe from the Giridon trolley which include a peach flambe very similar to this, a pineapple flambe also very similar to a banana flambe or maybe sometimes even meat dishes. The steaks like a pepper steak can also go very well from a flambe trolley. Thank you for your time.